apart until she said dad got in a car wreck and Max reversed time to fix it and it messed Clo or Chloe up. Ugh, that game sucked, man. Dang, I'm just remembering all the trauma. At least I have two weapons to help me survive this shit erg town. The pen I use to tag any and everything I want and my sh shining personality. If I work at, at it, maybe I can leave this place just a little less perfect than when I found it. Next. For a drug dealer, Frank Bowers is actually pretty chill. He likes to act like he's a tough guy, and I have no doubt that he's done a few messed up things over the years, but to me he's like a scruffy dog. The tougher he tries to come off, the cuter he seems. It's, I've been buying weed from Frank for close to a year. I almost never have enough money to pay him, and he always tells me it's the last fucking time, Chloe, I'm not your fucking friend. Then he always gives it to me anyway. Like I said, guy's adorable. Of course, if I ever did anything to actually get on Frank's bad side, he might not seem so cuddly anymore. I hear Frank rolls with some dudes who are into way darker shit than keeping high schoolers medicated. It's hard to imagine Frank getting mixed up with anything really bad, but I guess you never know. <laughs> Date of birth old. <laughs> For now, I'll just keep hoping that Frank is even worse at remembering who owes him money than he is at being intimidating. Despite my mom's best efforts, I don't actually hate her. I know she's been shit's been rough since dad died money's tight her job as waitress at diner isn't exactly glamorous and i'm clearly not all about the whole going to school thing but why does she have to make things so much harder on the both of us she acts like if i smoke pot or when i skip out to go catch an awesome show it's somehow a personal attack on her she should be happy that i am self-medicating and not going postal on everyone she's never used to be this way when dad was around she could actually be cool but lately there's a hairy dick monster <laughs> There's a hairy dick monster she let into the house that's fucking everything up. David Madsen, a jobless, brainless, dickless little shit with a heart on for the military and a promise to whip me into shape, asshole. Is that a dick tank? Because that's funny. I've tried to express these concerns to my mom. Yeah, every week it seems the virus spreads to yet another corner of her life. I'm starting to worry that David's flu is the kind of disease that kills its host. Max Caulfield, MIA, expects friend extraordinaire. This artsy motherfucker loves photography more than life itself and definitely more than me. She even uses old instant cameras. It's probably not healthy for anyone to be that stuck in the past, but who am I to tell people how to live their lives? Super Kitty is trapped. When we were kids, we would dress up like pirates and eat ice cream and write and draw these stupid comic books where we had powers and save people and shit. Then my dad died and her... And her dad got some job up north and she moved away to Seattle. It was probably the moment when I needed her most and she bailed. Thanks, Max, for teaching me what I can't, that I can't rely on anyone. I mean it. Life lesson learned. So that's messed up, though. Like, It's not her fault that she moved. Her parent or her family moved. However, Max could have talked to her. However, Max was probably struggling on how to talk to her with it, too. Communication, friends, helps. The worst part is that even though we haven't spoken in months, even though she habitually ignored my text so much that I just stopped trying, even though I know deep down that she didn't care about me anymore, and that she probably has all new friends up in fucking Seattle, I still miss her. If she come back tomorrow and said, hey, Chloe, why don't you dress up like pirates and be stupid together? I would take her back in a heartbeat. Lub dub. In a heartbeat. Oh, that's cute. Ah, I don't like that. That was scary. If I had a nickel bag for every jerk-off guidance counselor or therapist who tried to get me to write shit about dad over the last couple years, I would never have to buy weed from Frank again. What's the matter? Don't you want to write your your dear old dad? Ugh, that's creepy, dude. I don't like that picture at all. I guess they think it helps me cope with feelings or whatever, as if a few paragraphs about how great dad was could help me forget that his guts are probably still plastered on the underside of a semi-truck. Oh, man, she's dark. And what the fuck am I supposed to write anyway? That he was the perfect dad who was always fun to be around and never angry? That he treated me like an equal? That he was constantly working to make my, our lives better? That he could always make me laugh even when I was being a bitch? That he was saying in the shower and hated hypocrisy? And that his BBQ grill is still rusting in the backyard because the thought of either throwing it away or ever using it again are both so painful that it's easier for mom and me to just pretend neither of us notices it. If that's coping, then coping can go fuck itself. Technically, she was writing about him right there, and that's a, that was a step, even though she doesn't really realize it. All right. That was a lot of reading. Look at my sick shirt, man. I love that shirt.
I want that shirt. I think I saw mom's. I could rock that shirt. Coming, mom. Just gonna have a camera. Purse. Hey, the shit. Can this close, please? Oh. Chloe, breakfast. Hey, I'm coming. That down to mom. Please hold. Too? Yep. No more dawdling. I need to talk to you. Yeah. Daddle that daddle. really makes me want to hurry. Left mouse. Coming, okay. mom. Coming, ma'am. Illuminati. It comes for us all. Mm -hmm. This is good stuff. I like it. Fine. Hi, Mom. You can put my purse on the dining table. You might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Wait a minute. Where'd the purse dining go? Dining table. Here I come. I didn't. I wasn't carrying the purse. I'm not carrying the purse. What'd that happen? David's here so early. Mom calls him just a friend, but look at him. He's pretending he didn't just spend the night. And you never saw the condoms, Chloe. <laughs> you never saw the condoms. Dad took these photos. Now that David's staying over so much, I wonder how long it'll take Mom to shove them in a drawer somewhere. Mom doesn't want me to know, but it's pretty clear her boy toy, David, hasn't worked in like a year. Any letter from Blackwell is never good. Uh-oh. Mm. Kind of want to open it. Aren't you glad you left for Seattle, Max? <sighs> And never looked back. We're already supporting one. Thanks. <laughs> Dad always talked about upgrading to a flat screen. Too bad that never happened. I would have gotten this bad boy in my room. Family pic used to hang here. I... Wow. I can't actually remember which one. Ooh. Trophy. Hard to believe I was an eighth grade science athlete. Did I peak in middle school? Peak in middle school. Gotta water the plant. It's my job to water these plants, but it was dad's job to remind me, so. Nobody's fault, really. From when Max and I spilled mom's wine. I think the only reason mom hasn't recarpeted is so she can stay mad at me. Um. What's the button? There it is. So something happened here. I got a notification. The dot 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 thing. Dinner table. Ashtray. Gross. Made that for mom in an art class when I was like five. She was never a smoker, but it's cool. I was never an artist. Wait, those aren't mom's keys. And these would be David's keys. There's probably a better place for them than the ashtray I made mom. Like his home, maybe? <laughs> Hey, it's the snow globe. Feeling trapped? Right there with you. Shika, shika, shika. Dang, she's going hard on that. Little dude's like, what the hell just happened? I'm sure. Shoot. 
I was hoping David could get a job on a container ship. To Japan. Why do I suddenly want to get some fireworks? This is Principal Ray Wells. Let me be emphatic. I have an enormous stick <laughs> inserted into my butt. Thank you. Also, Chloe, you're poor and in trouble. Jeez. I didn't want to read that. It's a newspaper. I don't care. Hey, Ma'am, swear jar. Dad's old swear jar. We spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. All right. Haven't really felt like sitting down to eat since David started having dinner here. All right. Here you go. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what mom wants before she strokes out. Hey, mama. Wait, I'm gonna look at the How cereal box. How bacon smell so good, but I'd still rather stuff these sugar bombs in my mouth? Slow cooker. Heck yeah, dude. Pot roast? Mom hates pot roast. And it's for what's his name? See, I'm getting the dot dot dots. That means something, right? I thought it meant something. What am I missing, guys? Like, does this mean I have a new message and I just don't see it? I have no scrolliness, okay. Breakfast! It's not that I'm ungrateful. It's just that when your mom works in a diner, you're not always in the mood for diner-type food. Hey, Mom. Joyce Price, a.k.a. Mom. She looks as beat as I feel. Hey, Mom. You wanted to talk? Chloe, what happened to you? It's no big deal. I walked into a door. You seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. <laughs> when I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. <laughs> Sorry, I'll do better. Sorry, I'll do better. Sorry, I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? Is it that early? Uh, school. Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame, too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. Pot roast. I thought you hated pot roast. You can have a no thank you helping. No, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. And David likes it. And don't say you don't care. So that's what we're doing now? Whatever your boyfriend likes? Mm, engagement ring. Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. Mm. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. You How asked about me to get you your phone? don't ask me to get your damn purse then? David. You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Dick <laughs> Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I serve them, he says, what are you going to eat? <clears throat> I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. 
And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that? Who do you think you're? Oh, I forgot to turn on my heart rate monitor. Do you think I enjoy lying? Or hook it up, rather. Saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled. Between hey, man. Your grades and your disregard Props for to your mom rules. for covering you I for you. I see you slipping. I'm worried. She cares but about mom, you. Mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe David could help. I'm gonna call him out. Maybe David should start paying rent. He spends the night often enough. How would you know? You're never here yourself. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Hmm. I don't want to say dad was a good man. It depends on the, how she's going to say it. Because if she says dad's a good man in his snarky attitude, then it's going to piss mom off. However, if she's saying it as a comparative way of like, no, David's an asshole. Dad was a good man. That would be acceptable. Bruh, dad was a good man. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our that hearts. That was really not Mom. okay. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. Like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. Snap. You will be nice. You will be respectful. And you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's laying down the smackdown. I, trying, I guess. Maybe I should, too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Be understanding. Say what you feel. Be understanding. Mom, I know you're dealing with a lot. Thank you. I understand you don't need me as much anymore. But I need you. I do still need you. You're my mom. I'm proud of you for being so self-sufficient. But the whole world's not out to get you. Tell that to the world. You're impossible. But I love you. I love you too. Mm-hmm. Aw. Okay, David's waiting. You'll need to bring him his keys from the ashtray. Try not to kill each other. Got it. Unless he tries to give me advice. Or looks at me funny. Chloe. Or looks at me at all. Chloe. Mom. Have a good day. You too. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. All right. Let's go get them keys. I need Oops. that. For my mom. <laughs> She's like disgusted by these keys. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. I better get going. This way? Nope. Yeah. Oh, I got a journal and a text from Steph. Is this Chloe? This is Steph. Gingrich. Yo. I have your DVD. You can get it before school. Thanks. Did we know a Steph? In, uh... In the other one? Also, thought something else kind of got filled out. It said journal. It's lying to me. There's no... Additions to the journal. 
Also, when's the last time I talked with him? Five, six. Okay. What's the action?